What is going on guys? I is Fuego here and today I've got a commentary for you about a few things. One of the few things that I want to talk about, uh, you know, probably during the week and what we're going to talk about today is the releases of a bunch of PlayStation 4 products and games that we are bound to get in a very short time and I want to explain to you guys what kind of games you guys should be expecting in the near future including the games ha that have been released today on Tuesday May the 6th and there it, it's just coming at us there, there's all these games coming at us some of us don't know there's a lot of there's a lot of you know titles that are going to be coming out for PlayStation 4 the one thing that Xbox one and I will say that they did do uh, they did better was the titles they did a lot of titles that were big and titles you know that that were just there like right off the bat when Xbox one was released this 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 and this was available and uh, PlayStation 4 you know we we obviously get the you know the same stick as most Xbox one games but they had a little bit more more you know exclusivity to to certain games you know like Forza and Titanfall all these nice games and stuff like that Rise I I don't know what happened to that game but I I mean I don't know but you know today we we got a few releases actually and some of them are you know maybe small indie games or DLC like for example Outlast Whistleblower came out today and that's DLC if you are a PlayStation member which you should be if you play online you get it and you get the uh, Outlast game for free as a PlayStation member and I don't know about the DLC I don't know if that's free too or if you have to pay for that either way it shouldn't be more than ten dollars I wouldn't imagine so we have MLB 14 the show that came out today and that is a great it's one of the most outstanding looking games that I've seen I've seen demos of it at my local GameStop and it just looks phenomenal it's really the, the graphics are stunning it it feels like you know it, it has the gameplay of 2k but it's the show you know the show is just it, it, it just feels more better in your hands when you're using that controller to play the show than 2k14 you know MLB 2k14 I, I at least in my opinion you know that that's kind of what I'm you know thinking about a few new titles that you should be looking for and I know <laughs> the the kind of in between between you know DL, um, not DLCs, um, games that we should be looking for the future and games that are hot right now. We're waiting for Watch Dogs and that is, you know, I mean, who, who isn't waiting for Watch Dogs? It looks so cool. Have you seen the multiplayer trailer? It's amazing. It, it, it looks like something that I would personally buy and, you know, a game that is worth playing on the PlayStation 4 instead of Call of Duty Ghosts which I don't even play I'm mostly on my ps3 right now so you know that's a game that I think would make me play PlayStation 4 again you know because I have been slacking on the ps4 content you guys see uh, at, at the gameplay right here that you're seeing uh, you have Wolfenstein the new order you know along with well that's a week before watchdogs and stuff like that you've got murdered soul suspect which is Basically, you have to solve your own crime as a ghost or something like that. I, I, I don't know, but that looks like it's going to be interesting and stuff like that. You know, you have to find who the murderer or, or who, who killed you, who killed you, and I guess stop it or something. I'm not sure what's going on right there. And, the, I mean, the, this is just a whole bunch of titles. It's a lot of sports games that are finally coming out for the PlayStation 4, which, you know, unfortunately... You know, I mean, we had FIFA 14, which has got to be the greatest looking sports game in the history of every sport game, you know, for every console. You know, the PlayStation 4 just renders the video so smoothly. It does. It does. I, I don't know, you know, what would make anybody play on any other console even the ps3 i don't play call of duty ghosts on a ps3 console so why would i play you know something like fifa fifa 14 on that the graphics 
you have to take advantage of them and especially the games because the games that have been coming out the scenery just looks awesome it just it's really great um now you know i mean we're gonna move on to you know the big titles which one of them i told you already Watch Dogs. it's coming out this month and i'm again i'm really psyched about that really really psyched uh we've got one thing called the evil within august 26 that's going to be coming out and i i don't know much about this game but i i it looks it looks pretty cool we have and actually i didn't even know this madden 15 guys they didn't stop at 25 I don't know why they would stop at 25. I don't know who would think about that. But obviously that's there. One of the biggest titles. Are you ready? Get that drum roll ready. <laughs> Destiny. We got Destiny coming to the PlayStation 4 September 9th. That is the predicted date for the release of Destiny. And I can't wait because it'll be the first person shooter of of the year. I think so. I think it's going to be it. I, I hope because it's not and for those of you who don't know it's not going to be PlayStation exclusive however the DLC will be exclusive to PlayStation first from the creators of Halo and the publishers of uh,